we got it going. A lot of it was, you know, mid-range paint. Um, don't necessarily want to overreact to that. He's a really good player. Um, you know, second half, we try to minimize the switching with certain, with certain guys. Um, but bottom line, 12.4 uh, first quarter, it puts you in a hole um, for us offensively. And then uh, second quarter, they got going. And, you know, scored a 40-point quarter. So game gets away from you. Um, 39 points in the second half. You know, from those two quarters alone, there's the game. Um, you know, and, and we, didn't, we didn't play our best ball. Um, you know, early on, I thought we generated some pretty good looks, didn't go in. And it tends to have a snowball effect. You know, I think it gets demoralizing uh, for our guys at times, and it starts to detract a little bit from the other end of the floor. Just them getting tough shots, or what would you like to be more defensively during that 40 points? Well, some of it is. I mean, I mean, some of it, once again, is, you know, well, we weren't connected. We weren't communicating. There were some, you know, issues as far as, uh, you know, guys in the right spot or being where we're supposed to be and talking through some of the coverage. Um, so we didn't help ourselves in that, in that second quarter. But, you know, first quarter, I think we got some decent looks. And I give their defense credit. They speed you up. They're very physical and handsy. We, we knew that going in. Um, you know, one of those, one, one or two of those open threes go in. Maybe it's a, it's a different, different picture. I'll ask one more. And then just what did you say at that time? What was the message I asked? No, no panic. I mean, we, you got one choice. <laughs> you, you either you, you keep fighting, try to dig yourself out, or we, we quit. And I, I like the fact that we just tried to, you know, keep fighting, dig ourselves out of that hole. Um, obviously, it's not easy to do. Uh, but, you know, overall effort, second half, I felt picked up. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things. You, you got to try to minimize those stretches on both sides of the ball where things aren't going well. You know, when it gets, starts to get away from you, that's how things can snowball. All right, we'll go to Chase. Hey, Wes. Um, Denny Avdia had his uh, his best scoring game of the season last game and then scoreless tonight. I'm, I'm just wondering, as a young player, what do you think he needs to do to just find more consistency? I mean, it's just that. I mean, and I think that's just the normal maturation of a young player. Not very few are going to come into their second year and play great every night, you know. And I think he's still a little fatigued from, you know, being under the weather. But I give him credit, you know, he, gutted it out, try to play. He's going to try and play the right way, play hard, play physical. Um, you know, sometimes it doesn't go your way. So I'm not overreacting or concerned in any way with, with that. I just think it's uh, some of the growing pains we all have to go through. And uh, two straight games where you guys went down big, you know, 25 or more points. I, I don't know if you saw common problems in both games, but just how do you think you guys need to, to react to both of these losses? Well, I mean, I think minimizing the empty possessions. It wasn't necessarily the live ball turnovers, um, but sometimes after makes you know, where we have to do a better job of being organized. And I think it's uh, finding the balance between paint attacks, um, the quick shots. Um, you know, I, I think there, there's time and place for both. Um, you know, and once you, those shots don't start to fall, I think we start pressing a little bit. And you're looking for that one big shot, that one big play. Um, when that, once again, that play doesn't go, you know, just for, further, um, it puts more pressure on that very next possession. So try to stay away from those situations when we can. And uh, last one from me, just, uh, you know, the sample size grown a little bit for Bradley Beal. Obviously, we've seen in terms of his three point shooting, we've seen, you know, throughout his career, the last few years, we know what he can do. What, what do you think he needs to do to kind of get back to being that guy? Well, it's been difficult because, you know, teams are putting a lot of pressure on him. They're doubling him. Um, they're making him give the ball up. I mean, that's probably a smart ploy. Um, so he, when he generates open shots for all the people, we, we got to be able to knock those down. I think once we do, that will help loosen up the, you know, their pressure. Josh. Wes, you mentioned earlier that there were occasions of defensive miscommunication, guys in the wrong spots, but relative to last game, did you see improvement in that regard or, or something similar? Uh, no, there was improvement. Uh, there were fewer of those issues. Um, and I'm not going to take anything away from Siakam. He's, he's a heck of a player. Um, he got a game going. He really did and puts a lot of pressure on, you know, any one individual. Uh, we got to do a better job of kind of shrinking the floor, showing the crowd. But, you know, overall, uh, there were fewer of those coverage mistakes we talked about last game. 
Spencer attempted 11 shots tonight from the field. Were you pleased with his volume on that and his aggressiveness? Yeah, for the most part. You know, I think he's going to attack and get downhill. He's probably best in pick and roll. You know, it's tough. Their length, their activity, their size, ability to protect the rim makes it very difficult. But I'm more than happy that, you know, he's going to stay aggressive. I think he has to from the start of the game. How much did Gaff's early foul trouble and your necessity of having to sub him out disrupt some of the rhythm of playing groups and just disrupt some of what your, maybe some of the pressure on the rim that your team likes to create? Yeah, that's, it's part of it. You know, and I think uh, we've seen it before. Um, you know, it, it's very difficult. He's trying to defend and, and play the right way. It's you pick up those early ones. It does put you a little bit behind the eight ball. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. So um, we try to minimize, you know, the, the impact of that. But it, it does change the di dimension of the, for the other four on the floor. Uh, my last question for me. I know you have a, a young group, but it's also a veteran group. Do you and your assistant coaches find yourselves um, reminding guys to have faith in the process if you feel like you're generating good shots that once again those shots eventually will fall you have to um it's human nature i don't i don't care how many years you play in the league or you've been around when things aren't going well it's going to test you you know where are you mentally can you handle that do you have the fortitude to say you know what we're going to stick with it you know uh, put a little bit more effort into some of the things we're doing instead of just, you know, abandoning, abandoning everything and, you know, just saying, all right, this isn't working. Um, if it's not working, yeah, we've got to change some things. That's, that's part of it. But, you know, let's make sure we're trying to do it and do it right. Neil. Hey, Coach, so along those lines, where are you assessing the team is right now in trying to, you know, get past this, you know, slump area right now? Do you think that, you know, they're getting through it or do you see signs of, you know, waiver? Uh, that's a good question. It's probably a question for them. Um, you know, it's a challenge when things don't go well. Um, and who we are, what we're about, you know, it, time will tell. You know, I, we've normally, you know, in an early season, we've bounced back from these stretches. This has kind of been the longest duration where things have been kind of tenuous for us. So, you know, it's uh, certainly a test. And we have no choice. We have to pull together. We got to dig ourselves out. We got to find a way. And just to confirm with Spencer, he's not dealing with any other kind of injury or ailment besides just being, you know, less than a year away from major surgery. Is that correct? As far as I know, yes. What was it going? What took so long for him to start clicking in the first quarter of the game? Just seems like nothing was going back. Shots just wasn't falling. Um, and I feel like that we we let that dictate our defense. Um, we was really playing hard. You know, and, and they was making everything, uh, pretty much everything they threw up uh, at the time. Um, yeah, like I said, just, we was making shots and then just a uh, lack of effort on the uh, other end. What started clicking so well for you in that second half? Just taking my shots, being comfortable, um, taking what the defense is giving me, you know, just playing within the game, uh, the flow of the game, um, you know, uh, I just wanted to go out tonight and just play basketball. You know, last game, I I had a lot going on with the refs. Um, and that, that I know that takes me out of my game, you know, and that hurts my team. Uh, so tonight, I try to just really focus on myself uh, and, and get the job done. Oh, it was clear Nick Nurse threw everything in the kitchen sink at Brad. They were just not going to let him go. When that happens, what type of responsibility do you and the others kind of take of trying to to try to make it easier for them, you know, we know they're going to trap them. They're going to double team them coming off the screens. We, we, we know that. We know it's coming. Uh, so just trying to be in, in, in position where he can see us out of the traps so he won't be forcing anything or forcing turnovers, you know, or setting a good screen, you know, to get him open, you know, to, uh, to get him going, you know, uh, at the big. Uh, and I feel like we got to do that a little more. I don't think we do it enough. And I feel like he's he's out there working his his ass off, you know, trying to score, you know, keep us in the game. Uh, but it, it's, it's you no, know, they they like you said they 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 throwing everything at him. 
clearly people will look at your stat line and be like, you know, offensively you're really good. But defensively you're just as good. And look like you know you're dealing with some small back, just trying to just gut it out. Like, what's that like when you know your body's not giving you what you need? At home? Um, it, like you say, you just got to try to gut it out. You know, you gotta you gotta find that energy from somewhere. You know. Um, and and try to finish the game, you know, just do it, do your job, you know, do what you can do out there, you know. Um, you know, just get, you know, give it give it all you got, you know, until you can't give it no more. You know, I, I just feel like, you know, we talk about effort so much, you know, it, it's a big part of uh how we play the game. Chase. Hey man, uh, when you guys have two losses in a row like this, where you go down by you know twenty five plus points in both of them, what's what's the proper response? Like, what, what do you guys need to do to to make sure this doesn't continue? Uh, we got to have a, a stronger first quarter and a first half. You know, some some games we come out, you know, and this, you know, is 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 lazy mentality. You know, in some games we come out, you know, where we 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 own it. You know, uh, but we got to figure out, you know. How can we put together a great first half? You know, I, w I won't say first quarter, let's say first half. Um, and, you know, we all got to just pull for each other. You know, I, I think that's kind of slipping a little bit, you know, but, you know, we still got to trust each other, you know, have that confidence uh, within each other um, and just play basketball, you know, play for each other. No matter what it is, you know, we just play for each other. And you're one of uh, only four guys on this team to play in every game. And, you know, your defense has been there. And lately, you know, you've been, you've been scoring pretty consistently. Just um, how have you been able to kind of just be reliable for this team as, as the, the team itself has kind of had so many uh, moving parts? Um, like I said earlier, just, you know, you know, finding my shots within the flow of the offense, not trying to force anything, you know, um, and just, you know, take my shots when I'm open. You know, I, I'm, I try to continue to do that, you know, consistently. You know, just play the, play within the floor of the game uh, and not force anything. You know, I'm, I know my defense is going to be there. You know, that, that's what I lean on, you know, every night, you know, just to get my offensive game going. Um, yeah, but just the floor of the game, you know, and I'm just trying to be consistent with that. Josh. KCP, at a time like this when the team as a whole isn't shooting the way it knows it's capable of shooting, how tough is it to keep the faith that you guys are generating the kinds of shots you want to generate and feeling like they're going to fall eventually? I mean, eventually they're going to fall. You know, shooters shoot. You know, I'm, I've been in so many shooting slumps. You know, I, I can't count them, you know, uh, but it's not going to stop me from, you know, Believing in myself uh, and and having that confidence to shoot the ball when I'm open or, you know, making the right play. Um, and I feel like we all got to, you know, just believe like, it, it, the next shot is going to go in. You know, if, if the next shot is going to keep shooting them, keep shooting them. It's going to eventually go in. You know, and once it go in, you you might catch, you know, you know catch fire. You know, you never know. Um, just continue to have that confidence when you're shooting the ball. You know, it's going to come back around. How are you feeling right now about the quality of the team's kind of communication and attention to detail on defense um, compared to where it was, say, a week ago or two weeks ago? It could be better. You know, we we started off the season, you know, communication was there. You know, we had slippers uh, here and there, but, you know, we, we made the adjustment and we and we fixed it. Um, I feel like that, 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 that has taken a dive. You know, we, we got to find a way to, you know, get it back to what we were when we started the season. You know, just pulling for each other. I, no one should have an agenda but winning. You know, everybody should want to win. You know, no matter how we get the dub, you know, we get the dub. Um, and we should trust the next person next to us, you know, have that confidence that he going to make the right play, I'm going to make the right play. No matter who it is, we're going to make the right play. Um, and we got to have that trust and, and believe in each other. Do you feel like that's become any sort of an issue in the in the last week or so or or games? Yeah, what was that? 
you feel like that's become any sort of um, issue or deficiency in the last week or so? I mean, our communication has slipped a little bit, um, but that's, that's, that's fixable. You know, <laughs> we got to just get back in the film, no practice, you know, be ready to, you know, uh, go over what we need to go over and fix it. You know, we got we to gotta be ready. You know, we got a game tomorrow and we got to be ready, you know, you know, the game plan. We got to know that, you know, what all we need to do, you know, to get the dub, you know, and we got to apply it uh, to the game. You know, some, sometimes I think that's when we have our mistake, you know, we, we might go over it and shoot around or, or practice, whatever, but some, some games we don't apply it. Uh, but we got to continue to just do that and, and just be better at it. Thank you. Last question, Neil. Hey, KCP, how would you evaluate the mood and the locker room's, you know, belief right now, like you're talking about? Is it tapering down or, and, you know, if so, who's the person that steps up and says something? Man, we all have a voice in the locker room, you know, but it, that's, uh, that's locker room talk. You know, I, I can't talk about that. I won't talk about it. Uh, but we, we, at the end of the day, we all brothers. You know, we're going to we're gonna have arguments. You know, we're going we're gonna to talk so much to each other. You know, we're going we're gonna to talk to each other. You know, we're going to see what to, you know, we're going to give each other uh, criticism. You know, we're going we're gonna to just, you know, like I said earlier, we're just going to be the, uh, that unit that we need to be, you know. We're not going to fall apart, you know, just because one person is attitude is here and there. No, you know what I'm saying? We all in this together. Like we, we lose together, we win together. And my team believed that, you know, in, in, in the locker room, we all have a voice. Everybody says what they you know, their opinion, you know, what they think, this and that. And then we we take it, you know, and, and we apply it, you know. So the locker room is, is, is good, you know. We don't have the ups and downs, but we good.